I want them to feel like they don't have to conceal what they love or who they are to conform. This is Cameron's wish for the girls she coaches as a figure skater and life role model, as she reminds them to always embrace their beauty, their joy, and their sense of self on and off the ice. This is Cameron's Impact. Protests, we had speeches, great leaders trying to reach it. There's a thousand things I can think of, but no. We're still asking the same question. Why? This world seems so hopeless. Is what I'm saying so out of focus? Let me break it down. Violence is not the way. It's a shame that an eight-year-old is telling you this, because this should have already been on your list. Let me say one more time. Violence is not the way. Is it true that I'd be more respected if I were blue? Because I'm still on chapter one, and I don't know if I want to go to two. I don't know why this world can't find their inner peace, because I just want to walk down the street and find a place where happiness and inner peace meets. Casting go all the way down that way, on the grass. <laughs> now you can put your mask in your pocket. Okay, let's let's start with this. <laughs> and it's cold. I know it's cold. That's okay. We go warm up. Keep going. What? Come on. <laughs> we're warming up. No, we're not. <laughs> this is cold enough. Okay. India, next to Livy. Carrington, oh. Jessica, go sit down there. You're doing okay, Jessica. <laughs> you okay? Oh. Okay. Maybe it's cool, reaction. Ah, you see, I'm a young Sorry. one. You tell your skate so perfect, I want to be perfect like you. I'm not perfect. So for these, you need to loop it through. It. For the ones that don't have a hook. I started skating when I was seven. I was in first grade, so 13 years. Monday through Friday and every other Saturday, it's either work, school, skating. They're all intertwined together. I think I'm here maybe like five, six days a week. Even if I'm not skating, I'm still here. Good, good. This is where I work, where I practice, and where I coach. Good, good. It feels like, I don't know, something is released. <laughs> Something is released when you skate and there's a lot going on. And so when um, the girls skate, I want them to feel um, free, to know that when they're skating, that's their time to release. Yeah. Your arms need to be rack solid or it's not gonna work. Everybody, ooh, Haley! <laughs> hang on, hang on. Uh, 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 Naya, this is not rack solid. This is not rack solid. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go through our uh, two-foot spin. Cassie, you can do a back spin. Here in Michigan, it is like the home of figure skating. And all around, you see the major skaters, you know, the Tara Lipinskis, the Todd Eldridges, and being a black female in this sport, you can almost feel a little forgotten about or feel as if you don't fit in. I think it's important for kids to be able to see themselves in whatever aspect of life they're inspiring to be, especially in figure skating. Keep it going, Reed. Cameron is one of those who's gone so far. She's already broke so many barriers. She's been well established in the sport. And so being able to have girls like Cameron coaching, they've been able to share their own experiences and say, hey, you know, I've been told I didn't belong either. 
someone that they can look up to not only their skating, but their lifestyle, I think is important. <laughs> when I was young, Nina had a group of girls, that black girls who skated, some older than me and some younger than me, and some the same age as me. Seeing people who look like me on the ice felt kind of homey to me. And the older girls really made skating look so much fun. And I think that's important for a younger person to see somebody older actually enjoying what you're doing. You know, it, it's nice. It gives you something to strive for, like, oh, I want to be like her. I want them to not feel like they have to conceal what they love or who they are to conform. Five, six, seven, eight, and shake it! Get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and circle, and pose! Good job! You know this a little thing that I want to tell you about Miss Cameron? I remember when I first joined FSD, I didn't like my hair. You remember? I always wished it was straight or like, uh-huh. But then Miss Cameron, every day she would love it and, so she, and she's just like, she's poured into me. I like that. Oh, uh, okay, whose is this? Double mac and cheese with beans. Just for fun, we did like skating around with the ice rink. I'm helping new kids. Younger? Younger. Hmm? Older. Are you still the baby of the bunch, or is there someone younger than you? Somebody younger than me. So now you're not the youngest anymore. Mm-hmm. And I made a friend today. Oh, what's her name? Haley. How old is she? I think she's seven. I wanted to find a community for Olivia, black women, um, who are not only encourage her, but who are accomplished. And I saw um, all the love that these women pour into our girls, letting them know, for one, that you're relevant, and for two, I'm doing it, you can do it too. Living in, in Detroit during the time when I was my kid's age, it was a really dark place. After the, the 68 riots, there was um, what's called white flight. All the white people in the neighborhoods moved, you know, further t into the suburbs and just pretty much left the houses. People of color, we, we lived there. Um, there weren't many resources in our neighborhoods as far as helping us to keep our neighborhoods look as they should. You know, it, it's sad because that's the, the era that I grew up in. So the, yeah, we did go through a really dark time, but right now we're all about restoration, you know, and, and that's what we're doing. The world is at a crazy climate right now. All of the protests and everybody's scared and everybody's worried and everybody's anxious. But some of these things weren't new. Some of us lived it every day and some of us never said a word about it because we didn't think we could. I have had girls go in the bathroom and, and cry and come back out and their eyes are filled with tears and they, I say, what's, what's wrong? And I don't belong here. I don't, I don't feel like I'm wanted or I don't feel like I fit in. And I have to quickly come back to them and say, you belong anywhere that you want to be. You belong anywhere that you choose to be. So many of our girls are overwhelmed, so overwhelmed with their environment and everything external going on. So for the girls, as their coach, um, I want to be bold and I want to be strong enough in myself for them to feel bold as well. My main goal in impacting these, these girls and their families um, and their life outside of skating, their life on ice skating, is that you could be the same you wherever you are. 
You don't have to flip a switch. Oh, just because you look like this, you don't fit in, does not apply. You know, you can be yourself. You can express yourself. You be better. You rise above. You don't let anybody tell you that you're not worth it, that you're not strong enough, and that you're not supposed to be here. You are supposed to be here. It's a place where I'm just so happy all the time, and it brings me so much joy. Yeah, I think working on something like so hard, and it requires so much mental energy, but then when you accomplish, it's like, it's something that is so amazing. I feel like I can be myself on the ice. It helped me a lot in school because it made me feel a lot better about myself. I used to never want to talk to anybody at school, but now I use my voice more. I really hope I'm giving them something that they can give to somebody else when they get my age and there's a girl. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to keep going. That's what I hope. I hope I, my impression is, is lasting. <laughs> I had this one dream where I was I was skating to one of my poems. She woke up so excited that morning. She's like, I was skating to one of my poems. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we'll make it happen. You can do it. Hey you, yeah you, that beautiful brown skin girl right there. You're amazing. You're magnificent. You are a queen. I know that you've been through some stuff, but you're still amazing. Here's a little, here's a little saying to keep you going. Haters gonna hate, but you do not have to retaliate. It's okay, keep your head up. You're absolutely stunning. I can't even put into words all that you are. And there's no limit to how far you're going to make it. Because you are breathtaking, outgoing. You are pure. You are beautiful, superb, flawless. Yeah, you, hot cocoa girl. Yeah, you, chocolate girl. Yeah, you, honey girl. Yeah, you, cinnamon girl. Yeah, you, brown sugar girl. Yeah, you, caramel girl. Yeah, you, nutmeg girl. Yeah, you, brown skin girl.